smoother. You'll find all your favorite local news content, sports stories, national coverage, and more. Connect with journalists and writers by commenting directly on the article pages. Or easily share to your social media and let the talks begin. Check it out today at CourierJournal.com. Brian, why did you start this company? 25 years ago, 1989. I was in the drive-thru line at McDonald's. You're making that up. Ahead of me was a pickup truck full of junk, and I said to myself, I could do that. Magic happens when you call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Your house gets bigger, the air smells sweeter, and music fills the air. All you have to do is boy call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. I am happy to report the success of the all-new Affordable Car Act. Don't you mean the Affordable Care Act? Uh, no. The Affordable Car Act, exclusively at the Kia store. Kia is a five thousand dollars off every new 2013 Kia in stock. Try all the new 2013 Kia Optima hybrids for just one sixty nine per month, backed by a ten year one hundred thousand mile limited warranty, only at the Kia stores. Call eight six six Kia store or visit kiastore.com. dot com. All set up thirty six months lease, twenty nine ninety nine at inspection, plus tax, tax, title, no security deposit required. Example stock number Z five two 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 one zero MSRP twenty seven four fifty. Reds fans, journey towards Galaxy Far, Far Away, Friday, May 2nd through Sunday, May 4th at Great American Ballpark. May the Force be with you as the Reds kick off a weekend full of Star Wars fun and excitement. Sunday, May 4th, the first 20,000 fans receive a Star Wars poster. See the ballpark come alive with Star Wars characters and music May 2nd through the 4th. For tickets, call 513-381-REDS, visit select Kroger locations or Reds.com slash Star Wars. 84 WHAS Weather. This is way three meteorologist Brian Good as we head into this evening. Cool off pretty fast outside. Temperatures back into the 50s before midnight. In fact, overnight tonight into the mid 40s. But it will be dry tonight. As we head into the day on Thursday, a much warmer day. A high temperature well into the 70s. Some spots close to 80, in fact. Those are the stage for thunderstorms for overnight Thursday night and early Friday. We are not expecting severe weather at this time. I'm meteorologist Brian Good from the Way 3 Storm Tracking Team. Carly and Loba, partly cloudy in 63. I'm Will Clark. News Radio 84 WHAS with news on demand at WHAS.com and Facebook. Depend on it. I've done something new for this fight. I'm a wrestle with an alligator. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, so thunder in jail. That's bad. Now, Kentuckiana's most objective sports talk show host, getting it right at night. Sports Talk 84 with Lachlan McClain. Hey, how about some old school Cassius Clay get us started tonight on this Wednesday night. Welcome to Sports Talk 84. Lock is on the clock after taking yesterday off. Filled in for Terry Miners. Tony Benetti filled in for me that his usual stellar job, but uh, you got the old standby lock back with you tonight, and uh, we got a fun show. Certainly plenty of basketball topics to react to with the news today, as I'm sure you've heard if you've not, the Kari Johnson and Alex Rogers coming back for UK. That front court is as good as, uh, as college basketball has seen in recent memory. Ten years, twenty years, I mean, you know, the question's already being bandied about on the internet. The immediate reaction, you know, is this the best front court since? And people like ever. I mean, now obviously there's a couple newcomers in there, and I mean they have to prove themselves. But just to, and the guys who are coming back, it's not like they blow you away statistically with their profile. Let me be very clear. The Curry Johnson averaged five points a game. Alex Poitras averaged six points a game. It's not like the Cats will come back with huge numbers, but the number of bodies, the number of options they have, and the just pure raw unadulterated size that Kentucky will have in their front court. The options they'll be able to throw out in terms of multiple big players on the court at the same time is pretty incredible. And so we'll talk about those two decisions. Did they do the right thing? Did they really even have a choice? Either one of them. And some of the ramifications of UK getting two more players to come back. And of course, if you're a regular listener to my show, really is important as the Harrison Twins coming back. If the Harrison Twins come back, Absolutely, Kentucky will be number one, and it won't be close. I mean, people talk about Duke, and I understand, to me, they would be a you know, almost a near unanimous number one, and I am never a guy who says that you should ever expect, you know, to me, Final Four is the most you should ever expect from a team going in. I don't care who they are or what they have. It, it, beyond the Final Four, you know, you have succeeded in the way we define college basketball. 
But if the Harrison Twins come back, and I rarely say this about any team, it would be Final Four or bust. It would it, because they would be that good, and they would have depth, and they would have experience, and they would have it all. If the Harrison Twins don't come back, this is still a team that would have only three guards on the entire roster and no natural small forward. Yes, Devin Booker could play up, Alex Poitras could play down. There's answers, I understand. But if the Harrison Twins don't come back, I will stand by what I've said. This is not a top ten basketball team, regardless of the insane strength of, uh, of the front court. So the big decision is still to come with Andrew and Aaron Harrison. Some interesting tweets, uh, you know, again, people closer to the program than I am. Kyle Tucker saying, he's of course the beat writer for the Courier Journal, that he's hearing that the Harrison Twins themselves want to come back, but there's some other factors in play. And you wonder, who are the other factors besides themselves? But maybe there's a parental thing, maybe some of their advisors, maybe there's an agent that's gotten their hooks in them, who knows? Uh, meanwhile, Jeff Drummond uh, is uh, put on Facebook that he's hearing that the Twins are, are very close to making a decision to return. I don't want to misquote him. I, I should get the exact language. But he's basically hearing good things about the Twins. So it really is. Everything is coming up roses for UK, John Calipari, and, uh, and the Big Blue fans. And that's certainly got to grind the gears of the Louisville fans. But, hey, you know, you got it rolling. What can you do? So anyway, so we'll talk about uh, both of those guys. Speaking of Calipari, his book will enter the New York Times bestseller list at number three on the bestseller chart, which is to be expected, by the way. I mean, it's certainly impressive, and it's going to sound like I'm knocking it. Well, uh, I probably am. But, I mean, look, like every book in its first week of release basically cracks the New York Times top ten. Any major release that's got any type of national profile is going to crack the New York Times top ten because everybody who wants the book buys it in its first week of release, and there you go. Now, you know, I, I don't know how to put number three in perspective because I haven't done the research at most books. You know, debut higher, lower than that, whatever. What I will be curious is if it is able to sustain any type of run in the New York Times bestseller list, because I'm not sure. And again, I haven't read it yet, so let me be very clear. But I, that's because I haven't been given any reason to think it would be relevant. Besides John Calipari explaining how he coaches young teams, I, I just don't know where the relevance is beyond the big blue nation. And so I will be curious about the same power of that book, but I you know, give plenty of credit to uh, him in week one, number three on the New York Times bestseller list. So lots of UK conversation. Speaking of Kentucky, by the way, in the 8 o'clock hour, I am going to play snippets of Julius Randle. Uh, he joined Matt Jones on Kentucky Sports Radio earlier today, and they did that like a half hour. They taped it yesterday after his made of NBA announcement, and uh, certainly I'm not going to inflict that on you, but I picked off about the best six, seven minutes of it where Julius reflects on his first year, talks about that NCAA run, uh, which team, uh, you know, he would like to go to, would not like to go to, things of that nature. It is a pretty interesting interview, so if you're just a Kentucky fan, you know, uh, then uh, we'll get you Julius Randle. Also, Russ Smith, we're seeing Luke Hancock are making the rounds and doing signings and camps and things of that nature, and, and uh, Russ joined me yesterday when I was on Terry's show in a very fun interview. I had a bunch of people come up and say, yeah, I love that Russ conversation, so we'll replay snippets of that as well. So those are coming up, but really the phone lines will be open for at least the first 30, 45 minutes of this show. So if something's on your mind, 1-800, oh, sorry, the local number, 502-571-8484, 1-800-444-8484, pound 840 is a free call on your Verizon wireless cellular phone. You can email lock, L-A-C-H, at whas.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at lock840. And by the way, listening to Tony Benetti yesterday, I'm always trying to learn things. I realize what he did is... He monologued for a little bit, but when the call started coming in, he just went to him. He started taking them. And so I need to do that more often. I'm well aware my opening monologues are famous. I'm quite proud of them, in all honesty. Uh, so I'm going to break my arm patting myself on the back. I research all day to come up and give you a good 10, 15 minutes when I start the show. It's never just on one topic. It's usually on four or five topics. 